After I killed them, I dropped the gun in the Thames and went home to await further instructions. Shortly thereafter, the instructions came through. Get out of London. Pick up some brogues. I didn't even know what brogues were. Their shoes. Hello? Where the fuck were you yesterday? Oh, uh, we just popped out for dinner, Harry. You know, popped out for half an hour. Yeah? What'd you have? Uh, pizza. Pizza hot. Was it nice? Yeah, it was alright. It's pizza hot. It's the same as in England. Yeah, well, that's globalisation, isn't it? Try it with you. Uh, no. He, uh, just popped out for a wander. Oh, that's nice. Is he having a nice time? Did he get the shoes? Uh, yeah, he did. They're great, aren't they? Yeah. Like well, some kind of fancy business shoe. With elegant laces and dexterous perforations. Yeah. So he really likes them? Uh, well, I really like them. I'm not sure they're his cup of tea. What? Well, you know, I'm not really sure they're to his taste, you know. What do you mean they're not to his taste? What's that supposed to mean they're not to his taste? Nothing, Harry. They're fancy fucking businesses of elegant lace and dexterous perforations. How can they not be to somebody's fucking taste? Well, what I think I meant to say was when he first got them, I'm not really sure. He wasn't really sure about them. You know, they came in this big ugly box and the, the laces weren't tied properly and all, but. But as soon as he tried them on, oh, he just fucking loved them. You know, he couldn't get enough of them. You, uh... You know what he said to me, Harry? What did he say? He said, Ken, I know these are just shoes, but... I feel like I'm walking on air. He said that? Yeah. Like in a good way? Yeah. Oh, good. I'm glad he likes them. Because he wasn't a bad kid, was he? Huh? He wasn't a bad kid, was he? Listen, I'm just glad we were able to do something for the boy before he went. Do what for the boy? You know, have him try some brogues before he died. Call me when he's dead. <laughs>